Hello, in this video I will write a very basic um, uh, code. Um, so let's look at the problem we want to do. Uh, we will ask the user to enter uh, pizza or soup, P or S, and there are three options. The user may enter P or S or anything else, which is invalid entry. And if it is P, which is pizza, then we ask a second question. Do you want small, medium, or large pizza, or invalid entry? Um, if it is, if user says uh, soup, then we are not asking small, medium, or large. Then we are asking a different question, which is tomato soup or lentil soup. Okay, so let's write this uh, case, uh, this code here. Uh, okay, so here we uh, ask the user. Um, printf okay so pizza or soup okay and p or s and okay and so here because we will read from the uh, keyboard uh, let's say a char and answer Okay, so here I, I use scanf, um, which will be a character, percent C. Okay, and so don't por forget to put M percent answer. Okay, so here uh, we will have a character uh, in answer, and we will check to see what it is. So if statement, if... Um, answer is in the single quotation p okay then we will say uh, ordered so i'm sorry uh, printf um, ordered pizza and also let's say um, okay order pizza and let's ask the user um, small, uh, medium, large. Okay, so so far let's see uh, how this works. Um, okay, so let me run this. Okay, let me say P. Okay, order pizza. So it works. Um, okay, so now. Uh, the other options is so let me just copy and paste okay so here uh, because the answer cannot be p or s at p and s at the same time so this should be uh, dependent each other so here if else if for the other case there is no need to ask uh, another question we just say else okay so else in here we say invalid okay so invalid entry okay so it must be p or s so p or s um, okay so here we say soup and uh, for the soup we say tomato or lentil okay and if answer is S. Okay, now let's see how this works. Okay, so pizza or soup. So I say soup. Okay, order soup. So that is correct. Let me run again. Pizza or soup. G. Okay, invalid. Okay. Um, so here we say, if the user says pizza, then we ask all the related questions and we put the, all the related code about the pizza in here in this block and um, so we read from keyboard uh, again so scanf okay um, okay so percent c i'm sorry scanf um, percent c and then don't forget to put m percent answer okay now we need to, uh, so let's look at here, 
Okay, so if it is pizza, then we say P and so we have four options. Okay, small, medium. So now let's put this. If okay, so if the condition answer is uh, so okay, so if it is um, small, so we say printed. Um, okay, so small pizza, and let's go to the next line. Okay, so let me just copy and paste this part. Um, actually, just to save some space, let me do this. Uh, one more. Okay, so here, if answer is S, small pizza, if it is, um, okay, so if it is medium, medium pizza, if it is um, L, large pizza, uh, so this part should be else. Okay. So, do you see a problem here? This else belongs to this if only. So, these three ifs are independent from each other. We want them to be connected. Okay? Um, so, here I say else if, else if. Okay. Um, so, I can just. Okay, anyway, so this is okay. Uh, else, so let's say um, invalid pizza size. Okay, invalid pizza size. Now let's run this program. Okay, pizza or two. P, okay. Now it should ask me uh, a second question to uh, if I enter S, M, L. So let's see what happens. Okay, it didn't work. So where is the problem? Uh, here it says P, order pizza. Now, now it's asking small, medium, large. I did not enter anything, but it says invalid pizza size. Okay, but uh, I haven't entered anything yet. The problem is uh, when you, uh, uh, so we are reading a character. Okay, and when we entered P, and then what? What we did? We entered the we hit the enter key so enter key is another character which is new line character okay so this uh, this part consumes new line character so here this reads the p and then this uh, reads the the new line character which is a white space um, but if if you use uh, integer or some other for example float then it doesn't consume the uh, the white spaces, okay, uh, but this one because the white spaces are not uh, number, uh, so to avoid this problem, just put uh, space character here. So let's put. Uh, I'm sorry, a space character just before percent sign, okay. And uh, now let's see how this works. Okay, P or two, P. Okay, order pizza. Now we are entering, for example, um, M. Okay, medium pizza. Okay, so it worked. Um, so here, if I run it one more time. Okay, so let's say uh, pizza or two, G. Okay, invalid, enter P or S. Actually, let me just put... Um, new line character here and let me run this again okay pizza or two if I say um, okay so pizza and ordered pizza and let's put a invalid size okay invalid pizza size okay so I am leaving this part uh, to you as an exercise so you just do similar thing as we did here and prompt the user to enter uh, tomato or lentil 
and then read from the user and then check that. So I am leaving this part to you as an exercise that you put that in here under the soup. Okay, so uh, also let me uh, show this. If I say, okay, pizza or soup, if I instead of uppercase P, let's put lowercase P, okay, and then it says invalid. But I want to accept both uppercase and lowercase uh, as the pizza. So here, if answer is uppercase P um, or lowercase P. So this is not okay. Um, so as you see, so on the left side, so this is OR statement. On the left side, we uh, should see a uh, Boolean expression, which is either true or false. Okay, so this is either true or false. On the right side, this is not Boolean expression. So you should say again, uh, answer equals to lowercase p. Okay, so now let's see how this works. Okay, I enter lowercase p, enter, okay, order pizza. So why? Okay, invalid pizza size. I hope this is clear and just do it also in here uh, as an exercise. Um, have a nice day.